All right. So I am Kagemni Karimu from Lava. Very excited to be giving this demo today. Um, just want to explain a little bit Lava Network. You may have heard of it as an RPC provider, but it is much more than that. Lava is a modular backend for Web3 apps. Its modular can expand beyond RPC. And uh, with the phase two, which has most recently revealed new features of Lava, we're really excited because Lava is a whole lot faster and supports a lot more. So let's get into it. We know that Web3 blockchains traditionally promised uh, serverless applications. And even though we have serverless in Web2, Web3 has a plethora of options which do not necessarily yet meet the needs of a truly serverless application because behind the scenes, some of the same technologies are employed to essentially connect dApps to blockchains. So right now we don't really have the serverless thing, but we do have multi-chain, many, many chains sprouting up, which are intended to make this more decentralized reality a possibility. The thing with it is that as new chains pop up, dApps require RPC on every chain. There needs to be some way for these dApps to communicate with these chains. And because there's different chain architectures, different ecosystems, this has become kind of a mess and a difficult infrastructure problem to solve. So more chains means more RPC providers, means more people trying to uh, spin up nodes on these new chains and provide services to people who are building dApps. This is the closest we're coming to serverless right now. More chains, more pain. Public RPCs get launched on small chains. They get overwhelmed oftentimes. And then developers want to build their dApp. So they end up running a node on new chains in order to be able to service that chain and, and, and run their dApp. So Lava Network offers modular data access for Ethereum, Filecoin, and all of Web3. Basic idea behind Lava's approach is there's a decentralized network of node operators. There's open endpoints. We use Specs, which is a modular system for representing APIs and chains anybody can serve. Then Lava Protocol pairs data consumers to nodes and incentivizes node operators to serve these fast, reliable, accurate responses. So this modularism is one of the theories. It's basically taking these building blocks. This is a, a, it's a representation, this is a Tetris graphic. And so these building blocks get added onto Lava, which means from the gateway or the SDK or the server kit, you can actually see these different chains and supported APIs and make calls to them. With the uh, SDK in particular, you can do it in a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer way. So it's really great because you can initialize multiple chains with very simple calls and then make uh, calls independent of the way that that chain is communicating. So this is an example with StarkNet JSON RPC. You can see that the SDK is actually initialized here, and then a block number response call is made using Lava SDK .send relay. This is available on NPM for those who, who didn't see. Lava net slash Lava dash SDK. Basically behind the scenes, what's happening is it's sending the request to the fastest of several providers that it queries the Lava blockchain to find, and the request gets sent. So. With because I have very little time left, I just want to quickly show something. Let's see. So this is a really cool uh, node application that I'm working on, which uses the Lava SDK and actually have a pre-built example of uh, multi-chain calls with a system called badges. Initializes several of the chains simultaneously. So the SDK right now is communicating, and then it gives the results of these calls to various chains. So we see we were able to get block numbers from various chains with one SDK making all these calls, coordinating all the communication, simple interfaces in a matter of seconds. And that's really what Lava is all about right now. It's making this developer experience a lot smoother and a lot more uh, collective. So we're now working with SubSquid to add subgraphs to Lava and making additional advances with Lava Phase 2. Are, we're on the road to Mainnet. Mainnet is really exciting. It's around the corner for us. And uh, we've been making big improvements to our protocol and uh, doing a lot of integrations with partners. So we look forward to anybody who's looking to integrate. Check us out at docs.lavanet.xyz. I personally write a lot of the docs, so I appreciate any feedback that comes that way. And once again, this is Lava presenting on Modular Data Access Network for Web3. Thank you.